by FAHU's General Secretary, Katisha Masimola, who joins us live from Cape Town. Katisha, thank you so much for joining us. Um, some very disturbing reports that we're hearing coming with violence against these uh, foreign nationals who, by coincidence, also own uh, shops um, in very important areas. Yeah, indeed, uh, we are disturbed by continued attacks uh, on foreign nationals by local citizens. We call on political parties, civil society formations, religious leaders to add to the voice of FAO and that of South African Federation of Trade Unions that our people must uh, cease uh, with and desist from attacking foreign nationals. If anything, we encourage them to report these uh, mm -hmm. uh, matters to relevant authorities. That's why we, in the same breath, call on government to basically set up a multidisciplinary, multifaceted task force that will ensure that uh, we clamp down on illegal manufacturing of goods and illicit trade on these uh, products. Uh, that's our call, basically. Now, you sent out a statement earlier, and you went to great lengths to explain two sides of the story. You want to clamp down on the illicit uh, trade of goods. It's a campaign of yours that you've been working on for quite some time, but at the same time, time you're saying that people cannot use that as an excuse um, to illegally loot uh, these uh, shops as well as uh, to perpetrate violence against those uh, shop owners. Indeed, we are saying if you want uh, the laws to be enforced, uh, you cannot take the laws into your own hands as local citizens. Rather, rechannel your energy to protest at uh, government institutions because it is government that must uh, uh, ensure compliance with the law. And that's why we're calling on uh, South Africans to join our campaign against illicit trade. It is not correct that uh, these shops can be looted, uh, people can be killed, uh, property can be destroyed, all in the name of fighting against the illicit trade. Now you heard from that package by my colleague Zikona Shona earlier, a lot of the shop owners saying that the communities, a lot of the people in those communities actually want them to come back. Obviously not all of them are trading in illegal goods or fake goods and many are giving a very important services to under-resourced areas where they, many of them live very far from the closest big retail uh, nodes. Indeed, uh, informal traders, uh, be it by foreign nationals or by local citizens, uh, it's an important uh, platform of outlets for our people to uh, reach uh, these areas and procure goods for the purpose of uh, consumption. However, we believe that uh, these uh, goods must be regulated from the source of manufacturing and also must be monitored in terms of their expiry dates and in terms of the health, hygienic and other standards. Yes, these informal traders are playing an important role in society, uh, especially in uh, marginalized communities, but that cannot be a justification that they trade uh, illicitly in, uh, in goods that are, you know, a danger to the health of South Africans. How can you and other organizations such as yourself and government go about bringing this message across to people on the ground? Because um, this week, as we saw more and more of these incidents happening, we had things like a reporting of um, messages doing the rounds on WhatsApp, threatening shop owners with violence on the 8th of September those messages are coming across. How do we get your message across to people in these areas? Well, indeed, it's a good question, and that's why we're saying uh, we're calling on other people in society, influential personalities, to join our call and uh, echo our call in making sure that uh, we basically get our energy to the right uh, direction, which is to government. We wouldn't uh, would support all efforts for as long as they are peaceful, uh, they are within the law. Uh, all campaigns that are meant to bring uh, government to understand 
understand the importance of intervening quickly. Uh, we do not condone the loss of life, the damage to property as a way of uh, articulating uh, a message uh, by those that are disgruntled with uh, trade in fake goods, trade in uh, expired goods. Um, in your research, what have you found are the goods that are most pre prevalent when it comes to um, illicit trade and, and fake goods that are doing around? And how are uh, people going about getting their hands on uh, these goods? Well, uh, it's, uh, you know, you, you have cigarettes, you have white spirits, uh, uh, you have even pharmaceutical uh, products such as Grandpa. Uh, it's all range of products that are being illicitly traded and some of them, in fact, you can question if they have uh, passed the scrutiny of health and other quality standards. Uh, we don't have uh, an accurate information on the volumes. All that we are saying is that uh, government could assist mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to cracking down on illicit trade. By the way, uh, trading in this kind of products can be a function of uh, manufacturing as a source in which uh, manufacturing facilities, they may not be paying uh, the necessary tax and they may not be undergoing uh, the scrutiny of uh, health uh, inspectors. And that finds its way down the value chain up to the informal trade uh, platforms in villages and, uh, and hence the price uh, in many cases will be lower than that of uh, traditional uh, chain stores. Now, if somebody's watching right now and they suspect that the Espaza shop or the uh, informal trader that they support um, ad, uh, does trade in illegal goods, what is your advice to them? What is the best way to report those in the safest possible manner? Yeah, and then uh, and you're right in your question. In fact, uh, I hope uh, government uh, uh, leaders uh, will encourage people, provide the necessary contact numbers for people to report these cases of trading illicit uh, goods, uh, because we have to get a crackdown on uh, uh, expired goods, on fake goods, uh, for the sake of health and for the sake of ensuring that uh, these goods are traded because they may have paid uh, revenue to the fiscals. So the best way is for government to provide leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, government cannot be quiet. It must lead on this issue. But again, like I said, you know, uh, civil society formations, political parties, religious leaders, traditional leaders uh, must encourage South Africans not to take the law into their own hands, but rather to report these things uh, to the authorities. We will be calling on South Africans to join our campaign, by the way, against illicit trade for the sake of local jobs, for the sake of our health, and for the sake of revenue to the fiscals. We'll leave it there for now. We thank you for your time. Um, that was Fahu's General Secretary, uh, Katisha Masimola, joining